Well, an incredible new exhibit at the world's busiest airport showcases the beauty and majesty that is Antarctica. It's at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in Atlanta and photographer Santiago Venegas took all the pictures you're about to see. Trip of a lifetime. Santiago joins us live this morning. Thanks for being with us. I've got to tell you, Antarctica for so many people, it's kind of a pipe dream to go there. Why Antarctica? Well, it was actually a, a quite an unexpected trip for me. Um, it had never really occurred to me to go to Antarctica at all in a similar way that it's never occurred to me to go to the moon because it's just <laughs> not a possibility. Right. Uh, so uh, pretty much a photographer, a colleague of mine called me one day and say, hey, we're putting this trip together. Do you want to go? I need an answer tomorrow. Um, so, so it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And the timing was right. So I, I jumped on it and there I went. What kind of weather did you encounter when you went there? It is the harshest climate on Earth. Sure. Well, we were there in the summer. This was January of 2009. Um, we were actually quite lucky that we, the variety of weather that we got was just quite extraordinary. We got everything from snow, rain, dense fog, high winds up to like 80 miles per hour. Wow. Um, and lucky enough to not sink in our boat. So, yeah. <laughs> were you surprised? I think for a lot of people, they just think of it as, as almost black and white there. Were you surprised the color that you saw? Yeah, everything is pretty much black and white. Um, black rock, black water, white ice and snow. Um, yet, since it was a 24-hour daylight in the summer, um, the sun was always just uh, slightly above the horizon line. So it was pretty much a photographer's dream because it was a permanent sunset and sunrise situation, so it was quite colorful. So much has been made of the melting of the icebergs and how climate change has impacted places like this in particular. Did you witness that? Yes, absolutely. There were um, certain regions where uh, previous summers uh, the water was completely frozen throughout the summer and we were able to access these areas um, without an icebreaker because there was literally just no ice to have to plow through. Right. Um, and that was quite scary. I mean, spectacular, but yeah, terrifying. <laughs> well, the, the, the photos are truly astounding. Um, you can check them out at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. It's gates A through D, by the way, if you're there. You've got, a, you've got um, plenty of time to see them. Next trip, you got anything planned at bigger and better than Antarctica? Um, well, I would love to go back home. I mean, I've done yeah. these really exciting projects in uh, exotic places all over the world, and I'm originally from Colombia, from South America, and um, my mother is constantly telling me, when are you going to do a project back home? <laughs> so that's going to be my next one. All right. Santiago, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you sure. so much. Again, check Thank it out you. at the airport.